Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor, board certified through his studies at UCLA. And Dr. Darrow uses stem cell and platelet-rich plasma therapy to heal your body. He teaches about the use of stem cells, PRP, and prolotherapy. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Nita Valens. Well, hi there, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Nita Valens. You're looking gorgeous today. How are you feeling? Thank you. I feel wonderful. And Good. how are you today? Well, as always, I am living it up. Well, that's pretty exciting. Why not? I like it's it. It's a choice. I like it. So- I wake up singing in the morning. Oh, I I think we won't ask you to sing today, though. (laughs) (laughs) Well, some people sing in the shower. I sing everywhere, (laughs) all over the office. All right, I'll I'll have to talk to your wife, Michelle, about that before we have you sing on the air. (laughs) She'll tell me the truth, how it really is. She will, she will. So uh, today, Nita, we're going to talk about musculoskeletal pain. And for those of you folks that don't know what that means... It's about all your joints, your tendons, your ligaments, everything that can hurt, everything that's been injured, everything that can be arthritic. And I have been injecting all over the body for over 25 years since my residency at UCLA and having a blast doing it. I even inject my own body and I've done both my knees, shoulders, uh, what else, elbows, wrist. I had my buddies do my neck and back because I can't reach back there. I tried it in a mirror one time, and it was a little scary. But anytime I get injured, which I do occasionally, because I still think I'm 16 years old. Nothing wrong with that, right? I, you look 16 to me. I am. That's it. Um, so I'm going to give out the phone number because we love having people call us up and make this an interesting show. If you have questions about platelets, that's called PRP, platelet-rich plasma, or stem cells for healing the musculoskeletal system. I don't use them IV for different disease states, so don't call me about that. Well, you could call me, but I don't really know much about it, to be honest, other than I haven't seen very good results when it's done IV. There's a lot of hype out there. There's a, a book that was written that's very famous all of a sudden by a famous guy all about how stem cells can heal anything. I don't believe it yet, but I do know I've been doing this for years and years and years and mega thousands of them on people in the musculoskeletal system and they work great for that. There's absolutely no question about it. And um, I'd like to give out my phone number here so you can call us right now and ask questions about your pain, about your friend's pain, about your family. If you're shy, use a fake name. We don't care. Go by Mr. X. That'll work. The phone number is 866-870-5752. That's to the studio right now live. And I'm going to give it out again. Get your pencil and paper. Come on, hurry up. 866 870 Five seven five two. When you call, if you can get off of your Bluetooth, we can hear you better. And don't feel shy yelling at us because sometimes the connection between people's cell phones or wherever they are is a little rough. So you can speak as loud as you like. Also, a couple other things to write down. The website that will show you videos of me doing these procedures is www.joint rehab.com j-o-i-n-t-r-e-h-a-b dot com and for anybody that calls in now I am going to send out a free copy of my book stem cell and platelet therapy regenerate don't operate what does that mean well it's rare that anyone who comes to see me needs to have a surgery it's super super rare Most of them come in saying they've been to a few orthopedic surgeons who all say they need a surgery. So there are different camps in medicine, just like in religion, 
Everybody's entitled to think their own way. I think my own, own way. I like my way because it's non-invasive. You just walk in the office, you get some injections, and you walk out. You don't have to sit around in a surgery center or a hospital wondering if you're going to get infected, which happened to me when I had a shoulder surgery in my fourth year of medical school. I was a dummy back then. That's all I can say. I was a dummy. I had shoulder pain from weightlifting injury, and I had my boss, who was my professor, do my shoulder, and it came out bad. He was a great surgeon. It's nothing against him. I love surgeons. They're amazing. But I think they ought to stick to the hard stuff, not to these shoulder surgeries and knee surgeries and hip surgeries and toe surgeries and finger surgeries where we can help them heal by regenerating the body. So the title of my book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. What does that mean? When I inject you with these cells, it's going to stimulate the body to reproduce more collagen. Collagen is the major constituent in the joints and the cartilage, too. You're breathing, Nita. You want to talk to Jonathan? There's a guy on the phone. (laughs) Of course. Uh, Jonathan, Dr. Mark Darrow, this is a question about stem cells. Uh, Can look younger? Oh, I know what this is. Can younger people's stem cells be used? Tell me more about your question. Well, Thank you, um, and I'm, I'm glad they lowered the age for doctors down to 16. So now that you're <laughs> Yeah, they call year. me Doogie Hauser. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Um, well, I've heard you talk. Is I've learned a lot. You said in the past that uh, if you're 70, your stem cells are 70 years old. And I wondered if you were older. You didn't, you didn't hear me say that. You read that somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I believe I've heard you speak about the age of the stem cells were the age of the patient no you've never heard me speak about that other than i have no difficulty using a patient's stem cells who's 100 years old and healing them up Mm -hmm. i know that's common thought that you've got to use uh, the bone marrow from a younger person or the fat cells from a younger person in order to heal them but this works on everybody i've done this on kids and I've done this on people 100 years old. A lot of people in their 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s. So I'm, um, I'm not saying anything against that concept, but it's a concept, I think, to sell um, different types of stem cells that you can buy off the shelf, okay, mm-hmm. which come from an umbilical cord or from an embryo, which is illegal in this country. Um, I had it done personally. I'm coughing that up. Years and years ago, before there were any laws about it, I flew out of the country and I had umbilical cord, not umbilical, I had embryological stem cells injected IV. Mm -hmm. And that didn't do anything for me. That means in these cells came from Eastern Europe where they use birth control of abortion. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they don't have the money, I guess, to um, give birth control in the form of pills or other things to the population so people get pregnant and then instead of having a baby they abort in this country that's you know that's a big political issue so i'm not going to even get into that but bottom line is i have found for musculoskeletal that any kind of stem cells work doesn't matter what it is well i think that's what you said and 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 you're you're saying you didn't hear that i haven't heard in in any other uh people to speak about this that's why i had the question to call you about that good i'm glad i'm glad you did young yeah. people's uh, stem cells can be injected into an older person that's a great idea it can't be done in the general population in a doctor's office i have read studies about it you know so if you go to a university center where they're doing um, studies on stem cells that has been done okay i don't know you know, how many people have had that done, but I know it's in the experimental stage and it just makes sense, right? You're getting the DNA from someone younger, but that's more for anti-aging. It's not needed for musculoskeletal. Interesting. And I learned so so much from you. You, you, This is a great medicine. I'm working on saving to be able to come to see you about some things and I've been 
quite amazed at, at your stories and the work that you've done is, is really encouraging. And I wish more people knew. I guess more people are starting to learn. Um, oh, I yeah, have, the Internet is turning everybody on to stem cells now. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Um, I, I've mentioned to many people I see limping with a knee or a hip issue, and I say, you know, they, they can squirt some uh, with a needle. They can put some stem cells in there. Oh, I don't want that. And they say, I say, sir, this will work. Talk to Dr. Darrow. Here's his number. Oh, I, I don't want to do this. Uh, I can't believe how some people just seem to be a brick wall about a wonderful well, you know, I call hu- I call humans sheep. Do you know what that means? <laughs> I guess I'm not sure what what's your. Uh, well, we have pack mentality, oh, which right. is, you know, what everybody does. I want to do. So, for an example, if there's a rock star, everybody goes to the concert, right? Yeah. It doesn't mean that that person even plays the kind of music you like, but there's a buzz. You know, there's clothing styles, there's just car styles, there's every kind of style. And medicine is a style. And it's very old-fashioned. Traditional medicine, to me, is very, very, very old-fashioned. And in medicine, in medical school, we are trained in what is called acute care medicine. That means for people who are dying or have broken bones or something like that. We're trained in that. We are not trained in what I'm going to call more of a modern medicine, which is how do you make people feel better? Are you willing to step, is you is your doctor willing to step out of the traditional box to give you something that's going to help you? And I'm going to give you a real simple example, okay? Mm-hmm. If, if someone has high blood pressure and they weigh 400 pounds, do you know why they have high blood pressure? It's more than likely the poor food choices. Well, that you're right, but it's because they're carrying so much weight. The oh, adrenaline course, course. is going up. So what do I do? I put them on a ketogenic diet. I'll spend time with them. And I just had someone text me this morning, one of my patients. He texts me every single morning with his weight. He's already mm-hmm. down about 30 pounds. That's he wants good. to go another 30. He'll make it. I've had people lose 100 pounds, okay? Okay. But I spend time with my patients. In my work, I don't have to see 50 patients a day. All right? Well, you're really great. I'm going to go, and thanks for taking my call. I do hopefully see when I can get there and keep up the great work. Well, let me ask you this, Jonathan. Do you have any pain in your body? Um, my, my pain is a, uh, sometimes a sciatica issue. You okay. know, but the, to see you is about my right wrist. Okay. Uh, I had a break uh, or a, a very bad um, sprain, and um, it's a slightly misaligned. And okay. the, I uh, forget the bone, but the outside bone moves around. I don't, I don't think it's connected any longer. Things like this. Okay. And, well, Jonathan, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you a, a favor, okay? Santa Claus just came to your front door. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I, I always call this, it's Christmas every day. Yes, that's um, true. Yes. If you want to come in, I won't charge you for your consult. How's that? Okay. I just yeah. can't make it soon. Well, it's okay. But I, I definitely <clears throat> do want to come soon. I don't, I don't know what soon means. I don't believe in time, so that's fine. <laughs> right. Well, um, it, it 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 will uh, it will happen, and yeah, just uh, remind me that, that you're on the radio, and I'll take care of you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, Doctor. All Dr. right. God bless you, man. You sound like a great guy, very intelligent, and I really appreciate you calling in, because your question allows all the other listeners to learn more, and that's what the show is about. It's educational. We're on the forefront. I mean, I've been doing the show for over 20 years, and I taught this at UCLA for 20 years. But it's still on the forefront. There's still too many people that are not ready to budge and think outside the box. And certainly doctors don't like to think outside their box. They're the most rigid group of sheep I've ever met. And I love Mm -hmm. doctors, but it's just the truth. I I think uh, it's also you should attach to that the insurance companies that will not cover this. Well, that's true. But why do you think that is? I think they feel threatened. I, I, I don't know. The There's no money in guessing. it. There's no money in it for medicine. That's why. Yeah. 
Yeah. So there's, there's but, you know, you've heard of the military industrial complex? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is the medical industrial complex. <laughs> so we're fighting yeah. against, against the surgeries that the hospital makes a fortune on for, you know, a 10 minute surgery or something like that. Yeah. And well, the insurance I know, companies uh, are you involved. are a hero of, for many, many people that have gotten out of pain, are able to walk better, and most importantly, able to sleep better. I mean, sleeping with pain is horrible concept. It is. Sleep You're is the number hero. one thing. Do you know why I like naps so much? Uh, well, they, they help, you know, give you through the day, but what's your answer? <laughs> because it's like death without the commitment. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Well, naps are very powerful and uh, definitely have helped me. And I uh, definitely will continue to take naps. All right. Well, God bless you. Like... God bless you, Jonathan. I can't wait to see you. Thank, Thank you, you for your and, call, Jonathan. You know, for you, Jonathan, the phone number to the office, you can call right now if you want, is 800 300 9300. There's people by the phone. There's work. They're working. 800 300 9300. We're going to go to Joe after I give out the phone number again. So, Joe, thanks for being patient. We're going to get to your right hip in a second. And the phone number to the studio right now to talk to me live so we can have some fun, crack some jokes, 866-870-5752. Once more, phone number to talk to me, Anita, live, 866-870-5752. I just want to say something really turned out strange for me. I had an elderly couple. I'm not sure what elderly means anymore because I'm supposed to be elderly at 16. Is that possible? No, no, somebody's uh, got a numbers game going on here. It's not possible. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, this, this elderly couple came in, a European couple, and the female was very grouchy about her pain. So I try to tickle people and make them happy with jokes and stuff. And that made her mad. And she grumbled out the door. And, uh, you know, to me, if you don't have a sense of humor, why be alive? There's just, life is, life is tough enough. And uh, having a bad attitude just makes it a lot tougher. I think you can get through anything with a great attitude. And a great attitude to me comes from humor. So if I ever disturb anybody, I apologize in advance. But I like to see the sunny side of life. And a lot of that comes Absolutely. through humor. Anyway, Joe, thanks for being so patient. This is Dr. Mark Darrow, and uh, you're on Living Pain Free. I, you're love get... I love that joke about a nap being um, the, a commitment, a non commitment to death. That's great. <laughs> so, Joe, you sound like you're driving and on a Bluetooth. And if you want us to hear. Can you hear me all right? Well, I'd prefer if you pull off to the side of the road and get off the Bluetooth so we can hear you. I can can do that here at the next exit. Uh, Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk for a minute. Okay. Uh, The call screener said that you have. Okay. The caller, the call screener said you had right hip pain and may need a replacement. Well, everybody may need a joint replacement in a surgeon's eyes. We get that all day long, and I'm not putting the surgeons down for this. It's just their culture is to fix things in a surgical way, and that's not my culture. Because I had a bad shoulder surgery when I was starting out in medicine, when I was in medical school, I'm very wary of surgeries. I have patients come in almost every single day who have had a surgery that went wrong. So I'm not saying they all go wrong. Obviously, they don't, or no one would get them. But enough of them go wrong, and they come to me to get fixed afterwards. So I'm very, I have a very jaundiced eye about surgery. So when someone says they may need a hip replacement, if you're walking around and you come to my, if you walk in my office, you know, you're probably not going to get a hip replacement. You're probably going to get um, some stem cells or PRP. Are you there with us now, Joe? Yep, I'm here. Okay, so tell me your story. What here. happened? What's going on? Well, I I played judo for many, many years um, and uh, taught it and all that kind of stuff. And I found that here a few years ago, in fact, only a couple of years ago, I started, ended up with some um, 
some fairly uh, uh, bad pain. I've got I've got some pain in my um, knees, but it, and and they're bone on bone, but they don't particularly hurt. Um, but I've got some pain Joe, in your my knees right are hand. not bone on bone. They're not. No. What's the popping? What's all the popping? No, the question is why do why do they use the term bone on bone? What do you think a surgeon because does when he's there, there's no cartilage there anymore? There is. You're not walking around if there's not. You still walking well, around? Still walking around. Not real great, but uh, but are you uh, walking they do around? Hurt some of the time they don't hurt. Them. Yeah, you hurt some Pardon? of the time. You hurt some they of the time. Hurt I hurt some of the time too. Nita hurts some of the time, too. Everybody hurts some of the time. But bone on bone means let's do a knee replacement or a hip replacement or a shoulder replacement. Well, they've, they've, talk, they've talked about the knee replacement, but the hip got real bad in the last two years. And okay. it, the range of motion is really bad. They've shown me the x-rays where it's, it's arthritic to the point where it, I, I really have no range. My, my left hip... I can do all the things, you know, that I used to be able to do. I can, sure. you know, because I, I did karate as well, and I can do a side okay. kick on that side if I could stand on my, my are you st- uh, Are you still doing side, are you still leg. doing side kicks? I can do a side kick with my left hip, or my, okay. my left hip, but I can't I do it with you. my right hip. Joe, how old are you? Um, 67. Okay. So you're like me. No, you're never going to give up. <laughs> you're never going to give up. You'll never give up in no, sports. I'm that's for not. sure. And I, yeah. the thing that I'm worried about is that if I get the hip replacement, I don't think I'm ever going to be on the mat again because I just can't do the things with a, with a hip replacement that I could if I did stem cells and could get the hip back to working again. Yeah. Well, let me just say this about that. Remember president Nixon used to say that. Let me say this about that. Um, Exactly. <laughs> and I, I, I can do that, President Nixon, absolutely. Here, here's the deal. In my mind, you would be insane. I'm not putting you down. But if you get a hip replacement or a knee replacement without coming to see someone who does regenerative medicine with platelets and stem cells, that's insanity to me. Because if you can help yourself by just getting some injections and alleviating the need for... These are major surgeries, by the way. There are people that die from these surgeries. Oh, I have seen it. I know. There's people that get infected. There's. I just had someone in the office yesterday that had two knee replacements on the same knee. Okay? Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, and it's still not working right. So, you know, it's a mechanical thing. And mechanical things don't yeah. always work out the right way. You're a guy. You do mechanical things. How many times have you screwed yeah. up? Lots of times. <laughs> and listen, surgeon, <laughs> yeah, surgeons are brilliant. In order to be an orthopedic surgeon today, you've got to be top of your class because it's so competitive. Everybody wants that field. All right? Back in the old days, it was the opposite. They were the bottom of the class. But today, they're the top of the class. They're brilliant. And um, I take my hat off to them. And I think they do great work. I just don't think they should be doing these surgeries unless it needs to be done. And that's a big question. When does this need to be done? My idea is different than their idea. But anyway, I'd be glad to see you, Joe, and give you my humble opinion of what's going on with your with your hip and your knee and blah, blah, blah. And uh, see if now your you're a office, good candidate. Now, your offices are here in Southern California? I'm at Wilshire and Barrington, right near UCLA, right across the freeway from UCLA. Okay. But, you know, I hear this all the time. People call in and they go, oh, I'm in Orange County. It's too far to drive. I have people flying from Europe, from China, from all over the world because they don't want to get these surgeries. We're going to the break, Joe. Well, Would I you hold in- on with us? Would you hold on with us till after yeah, the break? I can- Absolutely. Okay, because I want to, I can I want to talk to you tomorrow. You're a cool guy. So we're going to the break. This is Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. And if you want to get a hold of me after the break, call us right here live. The phone number, write it down, 866-870-5752. If you call in, you'll get a copy of my book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. 
You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Dr. Darrow's practice is located at the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. <music> 